Well, today is field day, and uh, organizations such as uh, the Coquitlam Amateur Radio uh, Club are uh, gathered all over North America, and they're practicing uh, corresponding with each other uh, using uh, different forms of radio communication. And this is really important because uh, we have to be prepared for an emergency at any time. Uh, here in the Lower Mainland, uh, we're uh, always concerned at any time we could be facing a number of uh, natural disasters, such as earthquakes. Uh, even right now today, we have a potential for uh, serious flooding in various uh, locations up and down the Fraser River. And this group is, uh, even though they're out here practicing today, they are sta on standby and could on a moment's notice be called into, uh, into action at any place up and, and down the Fraser. And it's really important that we have groups of volunteers, such as this club, who are able to come out on short notice to uh, provide assistance to us. I mean, we have professionals uh, on, in our department, our fire department, police agencies, but we really rely on our volunteers to, uh, to be, uh, especially in the area of communications, where they have the equipment, the technology, and the training that they can uh, communicate uh, with, uh, with our counterparts uh, around the world. And if we have a major incident and we were to lose our traditional communication system, uh, the equipment and the training that uh, these club members uh, can provide for us is, is vital. And that's why they're an important part of our emergency program. Uh, it's part of our strategy and uh, we make sure that, uh, that they're trained, ready to go. And uh, this is just a chance for them to come out and practice their skills and to show the general public and the citizens of Coquitlam uh, what they can do in the event of an emergency.